God, I haven't done this in fucking forever. Jesus. So, I know I took a break from, like, my big girl videos for a while, you know, big fancy camera. I switched to my phone for Thought Scrapbook, which I am still planning on continuing. I just really haven't had thoughts to scrapbook or, or necessarily thoughts that were entirely appropriate for such a casual medium. And I mean, obviously, I strive for this, you know, this quality, my camera, you and me to be casual and easy flowing, but my phone has a greater lax to it and it just wasn't right essentially for uh, some of the stuff I wanted to talk about. Um, mainly, uh, this topic of this video is about um, abuse and abusive relationships. Um, so if that is triggering for you and you don't feel like you'd be comfortable watching this video, um, don't. You don't have to. Um, I'm not going to be going into extreme details, uh, but I have recently been thinking about how much an abuser steals from you and your life. Um, I was in an emotionally abusive friendship from ages 14 to 18 um, and it sucked it was horrible it was honestly some of the worst times of my life and has legitimately traumatized me I talk about it in therapy it's severely impacted uh, the way I function in any type of relationship it impacts my self-worth and how I operate, my sense of personhood, and my sense of identity, and most especially, my sense of boundaries. And, um, you know, this is all a lot, and, uh, I know that I try to make this a pretty chill sort of therapy session, but also I'm your friend and I love you and you know I understand type thing, but, uh, for this specifically, you're not my therapist and um you know i'm working through this stuff still obviously it's gonna be a struggle probably for the rest of my life uh whoopee for me and um in the last couple of months ish i kind of have really realized how traumatized i am and with that comes the realization of knowing that somebody stole my teenage years from me. Uh, somebody took my teenage years and um, I didn't get to be a teenager, really. I mean, obviously there were some things, but for the most part I really didn't get to be a teenager and I had to be s somebody that I wasn't at that time and act an age that I wasn't and just not be myself and not be a, a, a teenager making their way through the world and figuring things out and just doing teen things and you know making my way of it best I could. Um, and it's kind of a lot to really think about um, because I'm 20 now, I'm not a teenager anymore, and I'm never going to be a teenager ever again, and I have to come to terms with the fact that somebody stole my teenage years. I'm never going to get them back, I'm never going to get to go back and do things differently or go back and live my life the way I wanted to, or go back and say the things I wish I said, or did the things I wish I did, or just generally go back and live with myself being a teenager and live uh, being able to be a carefree teenager and enjoy things and figure it out and all that, you know? I just didn't get that 
I won't get that. I have no chance of ever getting that again. And I have to learn to be okay with it. Um, and that's why I'm making this because, you know, obviously leaving any sort of abusive relationship, platonic, romantic, whatever, is very difficult to do and it affects you in so many different ways, both the abuse that you face, the abuse that you left, and then, you know, kind of having to rationalize all of that within yourself. Um, but I don't see a lot of people really talk about um, grappling with your losses. I guess you could say, and um, I kind of wish more people did because, I mean, I've been free of that friendship for two years now, and I mean, when I first ended it and I said, you know, I'm done, I'm not doing this anymore, I'm leaving, like the weight that came off of my shoulders was fucking phenomenal, and there's been a lot of ups and downs that immediately followed that um and you know it's been a gradual kind of uh, upward slope since then but it is especially daunting to kind of realize that um you didn't have a lot of choice in writing a whole entire beefy, fleshed out, incredibly important character developing chapter of your life. Sure, you wrote some passages, you wrote a couple pages, but the majority of this chapter wasn't written by you, and the chapter's over now. You can't go back and edit it, you can't revise it, you can't erase and write a different story that's your story that's your chapter and you need to work with it now um and that's daunting you know and i think uh for me especially as somebody who struggles with uh, ocd and needing to know exactly how my life will play out it sucks because that's not the life i wanted and you know obviously that's life you're not going to get what you want and it's not going to go perfectly uh but it, it was definitely something that um was unforeseen like extremely unforeseen and has affected me in so many ways that i'm still coming to terms with and being like oh wow, like, I didn't realize it fucked me up like that, now I have to fix this, now I have to deal with this, am I ever going to get over this, am I ever going to not struggle with this thing now, that I have been through this chapter in my life, that I had no big part in writing, um, and a lot of this comes with a sort of, but not really, but kind of bitterness of knowing that I didn't have my teenage years and I didn't get to be like a free, you know, weird, figuring my life out teenager, uh, but, and now I have to live with that and live with the ways it is affected. Uh, the way I view relationships, the way I view other people, the way I view myself, the way I interact with other people, the way I re react with relationships to other people in a myriad of ways, and just so many things that you don't think about until it's done, and you go, oh shit, <laughs> fuck, okay, and there's this certain type of bitterness, like I said, that comes with knowing all this, 
And then thinking like, oh, but my abuser gets to live their life and gets to move on from this and gets to, you know, go and redeem themselves and make a life for themselves and, and have a wonderful life if they work for it and whatever and just start their new life somewhere and continue with their life and uh, presumably forget about this or leave it behind them or, or, or downplay it or something. I don't know, I'm not them. And it's not necessarily that I feel that having a good life or wonderful life or fresh start or anything is impossible for me, but it's a different type of bitterness because you know, they get to do that regardless and now I have to live with the fact that an extremely pinnacle part of my life was just kind of taken from my hands and I have to work around it and it sucks it sucks uh, and I part of me wishes that I could go back in time and avoid it altogether but you know I have learned things about myself and I have bettered myself due to what I went through in this relationship and so it's very complex and it's one of those things where as somebody who is always striving for betterment and growth of the self I don't know if I would have gotten those lessons the same way I needed to get them had I avoided this abusive relationship, which is kind of scary, but to be honest, it's easier to not think about that because that's so much more impossible than reliving my teenagehood and thinking about wanting to do it over, I guess. Um, yeah, it's it's just kind of really jarring to, uh, well, to put it bluntly, just like realize how fucked up you are because of one thing that also was in time with a myriad of other things. I don't know, trauma is honestly so weird. It's so, it's wacky. I don't get it. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about that because I don't, I don't know, I just felt like I needed to say something, you know? So I don't know. Um, if you've been through an abusive relationship, uh, please know my DMs are always open. I'm here to listen. You know, I get it. It really sucks. Uh, if you're currently in one, um... Trust me, as somebody who thought that I would be in one for the rest of my life, you won't always be in one for the rest of your life. Um, and I hope that you find the safety and strength it takes to leave one day. Because you deserve that. You don't deserve to be stuck in abuse forever. And, um... Just keep holding on. Because you can't do anything else. Um, but I hope you know from me to you, you're worthwhile, you deserve good things, you deserve a good life, and, uh, sunshine is around the corner, it can't be gloomy all the time, as much as it feels like it, uh, trust me, but good things are coming, uh, you just have to hold on to see them, but they'll get there. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, listening to me talk for a bit. Thanks for being my therapist. Um, I'm sending you a big hug if you need it. And I'll see you later. <laughs>